If banks and policy weakened the small farmer, engineered seeds finished the job. This is where farming stopped being farming and became a science owned by a patent lawyer. For a long time, seed was simple. Farmers saved it, stored it, planted it again next year. Cost nothing but time and sweat. But when corporations realized they could engineer seeds in a lab and then own the genetics inside them, everything changed. Suddenly a seed was no longer a gift from the earth. It was a product. With terms and conditions, these new seeds were designed to grow fast, resist pests and survive herbicides. But they came with a catch. They needed specific fertilizer, specific chemicals, specific treatments. And guess who made the fertilizer? The same companies that made the seed, it was a perfect loop. Buy the seed, buy the fertilizer to make it work, buy the chemicals to protect it, come back next year and pay again. No more saving seed from last harvest because patented genetics made that illegal. If so much as one plant carried engineered DNA, the farmer owed money. Even if the wind brought it in, nature became property. And farmers became customers instead of growers. Then consolidation hit. Little seed companies disappeared. One merger after another turned the market into a four-headed beast that still controls most grain genetics today. Four corporations deciding what grows, how it grows, and who gets to grow it. The small farmer didn't just lose independence, they lost choice. You could stick with heirloom seed, but yields would be lower, profits smaller and markets tougher. Or you could sign the corporate contract, buy the approved fertilizer, use the approved chemicals, and pray your next harvest covered the debt. The system was never built to help the little man win. It was built to make sure he stayed dependent. Seed used to belong to the land. Now it belongs to paperwork. This is how farming became a subscription model. Not tradition, but technology. Not renewal, but renewal fees. And once the corporations owned the seed, they owned the future. If you enjoyed this trip down the rabbit hole, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Smart History for Dumb Times.